Welcome back to AT Beauty. Today I am doing a brow tutorial. So you are going to see a before and after picture. This is my before and this is my after. So obviously I have super sparse eyebrows and I do not in the second picture. Um, keep on watching. You'll kind of see the techniques that I'm using. I am starting off with a retractable brow pencil. This is the Sephora collection. I use Midnight Brown. Uh, I'm first taking a spoolie though to brush up my hairs and then I will start working in the product. Okay, so starting off here with the retractable brow pencil, I'm just working that product in um, on the lower portion of my brow and I'm just kind of creating a foundation for what I want my brow to look like. So I'm not really going off too much with what my actual brow structure is as far as like you know, angle and and whatnot. I'm keeping to the shape, the general shape. I'm just sharpening everything up. So I'm um, doing that on the lower part and then on the upper part, pretty much from the arch down towards the tail. Um, now the arch I do technically define a little bit more because I do want um, my face to have more structure, which brows definitely help um, with that. Um, you see that with tons of different people, models, um, but like even people like Marilyn Monroe and like Audrey Hepburn, like if you look at that, their brows, you can first of all tell that they're totally not natural, but they're also creating a really cool um, definition to their face. Now what I'm doing here, you saw me um, brush down the, the hairs and I'm filling in any gaps that I missed. So really kind of keeping with the um, hair-like strokes to make sure it's mimicking actual hairs. And then I do take a little bit of the product. Um, I try to do this ever so slightly and then kind of bring it on the top portion of my brow. And I do want to do that to make it appear a little bit thicker than what my actual brows are, but I'm not going too far off from the actual hairs as far as like where they go. Um, and then keeping the spoolie involved with this process helps to keep it uh, again looking like actual hairs. Taking a brow pomade here, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in taupe, um, and I just continue to define that um, tail of the brow because that is where I want most of the color and most of the um, product to be. So just kind of sharpening up what I was already working on with the actual retractable pencil. And then to make this a really crisp and sharpened brow look, I am taking a little bit of either concealer or a little bit of foundation. In this case, I was just taking some foundation off the pump part um, with a teeny tiny little precision brush. And I'm just cleaning up any kind of stragglers that I drew on there. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of sharpening up the lower tail part and then I'll do the arch and then the outer portion of the tail. And to make sure that this is not moving, I will take the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow gel in clear. I don't like to use the colors just because they don't really match my brows too well. Um, but give me your feedback on those if you use them. I'd love to hear how you like them, how you prefer them, whatnot. So anyway, just kind of cleaning that up. Sometimes I do need to go back in with product because this tends to wipe some of it away, especially with the outer portion of the tail. But this is how I do my brows, guys. Um, thanks for watching and look forward to the next couple videos coming out this week.